mind that you come to realize your connectedness with spirit. And so whether you call that spirit God, or whether you call that spirit uh, Jesus, or, or Krishna, or Buddha, that which is greater than yourself, you realize that connection, that brings about inner peace and optimum health. I was just going to ask the next question, uh, disti distinguish between uh, Purusha and Prakriti, and how... Well, you really want to get technical on your show. <laughs> well, just from my Sure, own. yeah, sure. Purusha is pure consciousness. Purusha is, is, is a Vedic term that is, uh, comes from uh, uh, philosophical systems like uh, yoga and um, Samkhya philosophy, where it's this concept of pure consciousness that desires to know its true nature but has no capacity to know its true nature. It's not, a, it's not God in the sense of a being in the sky, but rather it's a, an, a potential for consciousness, for awareness that exists. Prakriti, on the other hand, is the potential for form. It's the potential, like the seed, uh, that if it germinates, the entire universe begins to manifest from the germination of that primordial seed. So Purusha and Prakriti come together, and it's the union of the feminine and the masculine, the feminine Prakriti and the masculine Purusha, that come together, and it's from that union that the entire universe is said to unfold in Sakya philosophy and, and also in yoga. And uh, so this is the concept of Purusha and Prakriti. Okay. So realized masters have been kind of transcended like a suffering form. Well, that's, like that's Sri Ramakrishna or a Holy Mother or, you know, maybe Sivananda, in fact, maybe, or such a Well, you know, you have a lot of different theories about that, um, people who will tell you different things. I generally tend to think that it is impossible to know what is going on inside the heart of another individual. So all we can really do is to manage what's going on inside of our own hearts, and from our own hearts emanates our own consciousness. I wouldn't want to presuppose that this guru or that guru is an enlightened master or this one is not, but rather we can only know what's going on in our own hearts. And through the eradication of uh, attachment and fear and judgment and anger, we can purify our own hearts and realize our own true nature as spiritually enlightened beings. 